Hey, how's it going guys? Mike here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over how to build that skeleton spawner I once recently made a video about uh, because I was looking at it and I was like, hey, you know what? That did get 25 likes and I made a promise to y'all that if it got 25 likes, I would make a video over it. So we're back in a world to look for a skeleton spawner and this X looks like a great place to look, so I'll always look down here. I don't know why there's grass right there, that's kind of weird. Oh, if you look at that, skeleton spawner. Hmm, it's quite weird. <laughs> it's got some goodies in the chest, so we'll just break that. Um, yeah, and we're going to want to put some torches up around here. I'm actually going to clear my inventory and get some torches out. But for the first task that you want is to make the room 9x9. Nine nine. So this is actually a 7x7 seven seven room. So we just got to tear down these walls, essentially, to get that size. So what you're going to want to do first is just make the room 9x9. Nine nine, and that'll get you the perimeter for building it. Yeah, perimeter, I'm pretty sure, is what the word that I wanted. I am in geometry this year, so it's probably like it's like the only class I'm really excelling in because I've always been really good with math. Get that from my dad. What do I want? I want some potion of instant healing. Take him out. That is how you will be able to destroy the skeletons once you get this up. It'll be, I mean, you can destroy them with your hand, but destroying them with your, with those potions are, can be a lot easier and a lot less time consuming hitting, clicking your trigger so many times to destroy all those measly skeletons trapped in helpless so uh, you want to dig down two blocks so that you have clearance under the spawner and that's what we're gonna do trying to go down here I'm not gonna skip any of this cuz I haven't done a video in a while so I feel like it's appropriate that I should be showing everything because I don't know it's, I don't feel like editing too much cuz we just got out of we just, I just had my spring break, and today's Sunday, so I have to go back to school tomorrow, so, yeah, I don't feel like staying up too, too late editing, but, um, yeah, I'll do the whole video just because, but one thing that I did want to say is I'm going to not be showing you how to make the little base down there, I will do that in a separate video, so, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I just want to get this one out first so y'all have something to watch and then uh, things will go on from there. So anyways, now you got your room and next priority is you want to take your uh, whatever block you want to use. I'm just going to use stone. I should probably light up this room a little more. I'll put like a torch right there. Right there. Just so skellies don't spawn in the corners. Even though that's like the least of my worries right now, but yeah. Now we will be going over. You want to extend this out seven blocks, so it should be two away. That's that's three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want to do six, five, four, three, four five, six, and seven. Now you have your room shaped like so, and here's where your skeletons will be draining into. I'm just gonna fill this up real quick. I don't want anything getting in or out. And I'm not gonna like take my time decorating the room and making it all spiffy, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually put stone like that 
because we will be putting red redstone lamps above, which will give it give you the option to turn off or on your spawner. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature me and my friend put into this. And now you can put in your water. I mean, you don't have to do this yet, but I think that it'll be... Actually, I'm going to go up. So what you want to do is you want to dig up... It's going to be 23 blocks. So that's already 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23... 24, 25, 26. Well, that is a little high, isn't it? Let's see here. I know that's not right. Because we we're supposed. Because in our other map, we did it that high. I wonder what happened there. Um. That does seem like a lot of blocks that I went up though. Let's do that again. One, three, four, five. 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I think that's. That should be enough right there. Well, because it, they go up 23. And they, well, let me count that again. Sorry, guys, this kind of wasn't supposed to happen because I didn't think it was that close. So let's do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, that should be high enough. Alright, so that's 23 right there, and then you want to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You want to put that down 1, and go down 22 blocks from this block right here. So that's 1, 2, th 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Right there. And now you'll want to do this. Because the spawner should be really close from here. Yep, right there. So now what you will be wanting to accomplish, now that the spawner is right there, um, this is where they're going to be falling. Put it like that. Just kind of carve out a little bit of space here for y'all. And for me, so that I can get things a little bit spaced out, so I'm not just, like, cramped in here. Um, yeah, so there you go. I'm actually going to go... This is what the spawner looks like. Yeah, like that. And... Should have three blocks space in between. Let me do that real quick. Put that back. Yep, yeah, because that's where your controls go. They go right there. And then I'll do it on this side too, just so I can even out the room and there you go here's your little place for the skeletons fall you got some room behind so they don't glitch out as much which they will glitch out essentially a lot so just break that open let me put in where's the old sticky piston there it is give you a sticky piston some stone right here so the sticky piston will go.
Yep, that's right. There should be a cave right there. Forgot about that. So I'm just gonna close that up for right now. And dig farther this way. Right there. And now you should have your piston set up to where you will have... Let me get out some redstone and crap too. There's redstone, repeater, and I need a button and a lever for later. I'll change this out with some... Where's the old redstone? There it is. Alright, so you'll want to do... So you clear out that right there, so it gets got you a little bit of room. There you go. That's how you push your items out. Now for the lamps, what you will want to do is I think that's right. I just gotta find out where the top of said roof is for the spawner. Take out that real quick. I'll finish the spawner later. I just want to put in all this and then I'll show you how to finish the old spawner. So you want to... I'm actually going to clear out this room real quick. Okay, so... This... I hate gravel. Gravel just is not fun when you go mining. Oh, okay, so. Stone right there. Okay, so that's the other corner. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't like that. Stupid gravel's all over the place. This is where the redstone lamps will go. So, put that. Yeah, right there. That's good. Alright. Jeez. So I can, I'm just going to use that to mark out the corners. Okay, there's the last corner, and right there. Now I need to figure out, which would probably help if I had a map for this. Um, yeah, map's over here. Okay, so I want to get to essentially right, right here. So this is. Uh, it's on the 43rd for Y. And 163, 186. So Y, I need to be on 43. Let's go back down. Three, doing these stairs. It's a little easier when you have another person with you because they can just like stand there. Kind of help spot. Okay, now I'm on 43. I think I was supposed to be on 180, 180, 168. Let me go back and recheck the coordinates again. Sorry guys, it's a little, little tough doing this by yourself. Oh, it's 163 and 186. All right, cool. Not. I'm on 164, so it's... Oh, wow. Well, that's a little... That's, that's very convenient, having it right there. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim all these down. So I get... Is this where I dug from? That is where I dug from. Let's block that up. 
I was a little worried at that I was too close to the surface, but I was not. Okay, so... I mean to break that. Or that. Okay. So, we're going to want to put some a pattern in for the redstone. I want like one right there. Plug that up now. One in each corner, like so. Like that. And, and then you want one in the middle. Because it's a room. That, right? And then I'm going to put one in between, like so. Like that, like that. Because I think that's how we had it. Something like that. Alright. So. For this, you want to. Since redstone cannot climb up walls, put the lever on the wall. I want to keep it on so I have tracing of it to the very tip top. Like that. There you go. And I'm also going to put one right there, one right there. Get your full length for it. Connect it around. There you go. And now you're going to want to... You can do some... I mean, there's other ways you can save. I'm just going to do this. Just because it makes it look a little nicer when it's all like that makes it look a little bit neater when you have the redstone placed like so see and then you got those little squares going on alright cool so that's where you are with the lights and I'll show you that they should work so let's go back in here, turn it off. I will take out the... No, wait. Okay, so I'm not going to take out the torches yet, but look, the lights were off. Now they are on. So now you got working lights. Cool. Okay, so now is the part where you will go up and get your... I feel I feel a little better better I said that weird I feel a little better putting that there so this should be a 22 block drop now essentially I'm pretty sure it is I mean I don't I don't know why it wouldn't be unless I counted wrong but now what you want is I'm gonna need okay so I'm done with the redstone now what you want is a lot of signs and a lot of water buckets, which I will only need one because I'm in creative. But, I mean, you don't need that many. You just need a, an infinite source would actually be great. And I don't believe that's right. It's like this. Yep. There it is. Go up every other... Unless you all know how to do this easy right here there you go all right and then you want sign like that there's your top go down come on there you go we'll put the water in these corners Okay, now I can get rid of the torches because, crap, this is what I don't like right here. It's too close for comfort right there. And you'll see that once I take out all the torches, the room is nice and lit up. It shouldn't get any spawns until we actually turn the lights off. Ah, jeez, I need something to... Uh, there you go. Like so. 
Put your water in like that. Put it in every one. I'm just holding it down because it's pretty easy that way. You should have that, and then you should have this weird, funky looking ramp going up that just helps push them all the way up. And I'm actually going to light up this room now because I don't want to get any spawns in here. Like that. And now I essentially have everything going for me right now. Now all we need to do is test it out. You hear them spawning, and they should be dropping very soon. And this is only like the first part of it. I'll show you how to build the base and like the enchanting room, the brewery. The brewery is over here. Enchantment rooms over there. And Oh yeah, and then we had chests right here. And we had the the escape up. So they should be falling soon. Wait for them. There's one. There's one. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm I hope y'all and have enjoyed this video. Sorry I haven't been posting stuff recently, just kind of complicated school tennis. And it's been very stressful. So yeah, um, I'll definitely try to post more. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. For this episode, you can just hit them once, they're dead. Push your crap back, hit them again, they're dead. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Mike. Oh yeah, and I appreciate a like. And if if you give me, I don't know, let's try to hit 50 likes on this video, because that would be so great. That would be just excellent if we could get 50 likes. My highest so far is like 81, I think. So 50, that's a big, big gopher right there. Gopher. Big gopher right there. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, subscribing would probably be the best idea because you'll be able to see all my cool videos that I will be posting pretty soon. And as always, I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Thank you for watching.